Hi YouTube, this is Brittany. Anyways, so I accidentally put the wrong ink into a ET2720 Epson computer. And I wanted to do the sublimation ink. So I thought about bought the right one, but it was the wrong one. I thought about the right one, it was the wrong one, yeah. I'm sorry, it's like 10 o'clock here. Anyways, um, and I just want to show y'all how simple it is to get it out. After all these YouTube videos I watched and everything, and how simple it is to actually get the ink out of your printer that you installed wrong the first time. Yeah, you see all the ink all over my, yeah, yeah. So just say it's been a rough night. <laughs> but here we go. So as you see, and I will show y'all how I took it apart and everything, but on the top of it, you're going to see where you would refill it and everything right there. And then you would take the top off of it like that, and then you'll see the little things right there. Hold on, let me, let me flip around my camera for you. So what you're going to do is it has like a little clip right here. I already emptied these three. So just take out this. It's not the easiest job in the world. Hold on, let me get the right hand. You're just going to mash that clip. And you're just going to pull it out like that. And then... And then, what you do is that little cord that's hanging from it, you're just going to take it off. It comes off, and you ain't got to worry about spilling the ink or anything, so just pull it off of that, and it's going to look like this. Okay, so everybody was saying that put a syringe in the tip of it. I was like, no. It's hard. I tried it and tried it and tried it. So, I got the prime example. So, you know how a syringe, it just sucks down, right? Right. So, I got smart about this. I put it to the end of that hose. And you pull the syringe. And it takes out the rest of that ink. Just like that. And then I empty it. And then you can do it again. For all those people that was having trouble sticking the syringe inside that little hose. I didn't know how to get the ink out. And then you can add your sublimation ink. Your Cosmo ink. Whatever you use for your t-shirts. Okay, I showed y'all this part. Let me empty that real quick. Next, gotta get a wipe because I drop. I'm getting ink all over me. So next, I want to show y'all guys how to get it out of the cartridge. So you see the little hole right there? You're gonna stick the syringe, and I use I use this little Tylenol one that comes with the kids Tylenol. Of course, I'm not gonna use it again, but still. And it's big enough to actually fit on the bottom of that. But you have to get it like right on there. Like that. And you're going to suck that through too. And you see it coming out. There's not that much in there. So you might just want to do it like two times. Just to make sure everything's coming out. And basically when you get bubbles, you know it's all gone. But anyways, this is how I emptied the old ink. Well, the wrong kind of ink. With the writing with a sublimation printer 
And that's how I transferred my Epson 2720 to a t-shirt making business. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I will talk to you later. Bye.